What three words describe the makeover before and after? It was definitely small, how are we going to do that, and excitement. We were able to plan what the bathroom was going to actually look like. However, it wasn't like that in reality. You have existing things that are inside the walls, inside the floors, things that are completely out of a contractor's hands to make certain that it actually goes according to plan or make a plan, go to plan B. The style of the bathroom is modern. In today's world, when people are living in townhouses or living in old houses, I find when you have this clean, fresh, neutral palette, you end up having a space that appears to be so much larger than the space really is. My favorite materials and colors was definitely the gray marble look tiles. I love those because you're getting all the beauty of marble, zero maintenance, and the cost is quite low. What the tiling companies have done is they've taken the marble look and the stone look into porcelain tiles. This is a very good finish for people to consider because you're getting a very close look. The design trends right now I find really exciting. I've got this loose word that I call um, a trend that's, that's, that's mixed materials. Previously in bathrooms gone by, people would use one type of tile. They're making the bathrooms look more like the rest of your home, where you have many different mixed materials, so that you don't have the same one look, very two-dimensional two type of room. Obviously, it's not easy in a bathroom to use wood, so the big trend in tiles now are timber look tiles. We cut up the timber tile into shorter manageable treads that allowed us to actually do the herringbone design as best suited with certain lengths. Bringing wood into a wet area was unbelievable. I love that. And of course the countertop, the Grigio Argento countertop, which was made out of a single tile, uh, 1.2 meter by 600 millimeter tile. The costs and trying to contain the costs to make sure that we don't overrun was a key component. We could have done it cheaper. It's just that we wanted to give Robin an unbelievable bathroom. And I think that's what we did. Because every bathroom should feel like a spa. My top tip would be always stick with a smart, neutral color. Trends die. My top tip for building a bathroom has to be planning. If you plan, everything will run smoothly. And ideally, you redesign continuously on paper. And when you get to site, you just build as the design was done properly. Mm -hmm.